the goal tonight is not to teach you the pattern, but more that more to look for psychology in the patterns and psychology in the markets and think conceptually correct. But you do want to make sure that knockout move is meaningful. Now, a text, it, it, if you're looking at just a textbook definition of a TKO, it's a two bar low, but you want that to be on an expansion of range. So you want something that looks more like this. And again, that's to that's for psychological reasons. Okay. Was it big enough to attract some shorts, you think, in? And you know, maybe some guys want to short it right here. And it's like, eh, maybe I'll just wait a little while. I got burnt last time I sold the highs. And damn it, this thing is falling. I better pile on quickly. Where recent longs likely stopped out. So you've got this nice, nice trend, you know, do 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 look like the little man in uh price is right, right? And then you know, falls off the cliff. So you got to ask yourself, you think some longs got knocked out of this? And was it big enough to possibly shake out some longer term holders? Now, like I've said before or earlier, my goal is to predict the short, short term by looking at longer term charts and jump in, get a piece and get that stop up to break even and then trail that stop higher and hopefully be in a stock for a long, long time. I'm trying to think of how long have we been? What's the oldest one in the portfolio right now? Let's see. I got the spreadsheet right here. July of 20, July of 2020. Holy moly. So we've got one we've been in since July of 2020. Okay. So could it knock out some possibly longer term holders? I've it ha doesn't happen often, but there's there's been a, quite a few times that I can remember where I've been in a stock that looks like this, it has a TKO move looks like that, I'm out, I'm stopped out somewhere in here. And at the end of the day, I'm going, you know what, that looks pretty good. And I'll go right back in. There was one specific example in the service, that's the only one I remember that's that's documented and out there. And you could, you could if you get really bored or can't sleep at night, you can go through the archives at davelinner.com slash archives. But it was one, it was a fairly new issue, we caught a really good trend, it knocked us out. And at the end of the day, I'm doing my analysis. I'm like, you know what, this thing looks good. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back in. Let's wait for an entry, but let's go back in. And it worked. Doesn't always happen, but it can. So ask yourself, if you were long this particular market, would you have been stopped out? And in that particular case, I was stopped out and I did go back in the next day. So it's a great setup, at least, in my humble opinion, which I know I don't have to say because it it's my opinion, I'm saying it right. What could go wrong? Well, the bottom line is everything can go wrong. Okay. You could have a fantastic looking setup and it could fail miserably. That doesn't mean it doesn't work longer term. It just means for whatever reason, it didn't work this time. Think of all the millions of people out there trading. Think of all the millions of variables out there. And I was just trying to think of something recently, you know, maybe. Maybe Russia will invade Ukraine. Maybe there's so many things I want to say, but it's going to come off political and probably the opposite of, of <laughs> my true feelings about how I feel about some of these things. But a lot of things can happen. The, the Fed could say something off the cuff. And yeah, they might later walk it back. But when those futures are down 100 points in two minutes, you're out, okay? There's nothing you can do about that. So shit happens. 